Franz Ferdinand. How are you doing, Alex? How are you I'm doing. Okay? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. When did you arrive here in Zurich? Uh, just a couple of hours ago. Where are you coming from? Uh, I came over from London. Came directly from London. Now you were last year here in Zurich, actually Winterthur, the Winterthur Fest, Musikfestwochen. How is it to be back on the road again? Oh, it's really good, especially to be out with new songs, you know, and uh, now the songs are released and people can sing along. Now, you just had your new album out, Right Thoughts, Right Words and Right Action. Just recently came out. First question, easy question, how proud are you about your album? Uh, I, I'm pleased with it. It was the most fun to make of all of our records. Really enjoyed making it. And people seem to enjoy listening to it, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, so tell me about producing the album. How was it? Was it easy or was it a bit difficult? Did you have moments where you thought that you might not work to produce the album? Making the record itself wasn't difficult. Um, and that's because after we toured, we all felt knackered. And I, there was a point after touring where I thought, do I want to make a record? And I remember meeting up with Bob and thinking and talking about it. But once we'd made the decision to make a record, yeah, it all, it all fell into place. How long was the gap between finishing the tour and making the new record? I'd say probably about a year. All right. So what do you do in that year then? I mean, like you got a lot of things possible. You got a lot of time suddenly, if I may say so. What were you up to in that year then? Uh, I like to produce as well. So I produced a couple of other bands. All right. Any uh, bands that one would know? Yeah, uh, there's a band called Citizens from uh, the UK. And uh, there's a, a Scottish artist called R.M. Hubbard. Uh, he's a, an acoustic guitar player and uh, he um, collaborated with a lot of Scottish musicians like Aidan Moffat from Arab Strap and uh, uh, guys from the Delgados. Yeah, it, it was a really fun record to make. All right, so you've been producing. That means you've been a lot of time all about the music. Now you've got your new baby out with your band together. Uh, does it still feel the same producing an album like that? Or is it like different? Are you like become more friends or have you? You know, I feel more in common with uh, the band as it was 10 years ago than maybe it did five years ago. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think after a while, all bands, you maybe sort of like stop talking to each other the way that you used to, you don't communicate as well. And before we even started making this record, I wanted to make sure that the friendship was right between all the band members. All right. Because if that's good, then being in a band is fun. Okay. How did you make sure of that then that it's all okay? Did you just go and have a beer or did you, did you what was like a special event? Did you go to a fun park or what did you do? Fun park's a good idea. Maybe we'll do that on the next record. Right. Uh, work it all out on the roller coaster. Uh, no, you know, like it's the same as any friendship. You know, you talk to your friends and uh, friendships are good when you talk about your problems and work it out. Uh, and that's all we did. But does that mean then that there was a time where you didn't talk that much to your band members? Because you just said as if you just met them like before producing the album again. But before that, there might have been a time where there wasn't that much contact to them. Oh no, we were still in contact with each other and we still spent time with each other. But you know what it's like, it's, it's when you're in close company with your, the closest people in your life, sometimes they wind you up a little bit. Like, you know, okay. you must have shared a flat with people or even when you're living with your girlfriend or your wife or husband or even back when you were a kid living with your parents, because you're too close to each other, you end up not talking about the things you should do. Okay. And what's good is when you take a bit of distance, step back, get a bit of perspective and then you work it out. Okay.